Okay, well it's been a great day. We hung out with a youth group. You need to turn to your neighbor and you need to check the tag of their shirt and see what country your shirt was made in. This one was made in New York, not, not just the USA. Is that, in... like, is that like Bavaria, not just Germany? Yes, this is like... <laughs> We're gonna use what you put up here in two ways. There are okay. six countries represented on this board that have Christian Endeavor. Pakistan. Pakistan was introduced to Christian Endeavor this year with a Leadership Academy event. We've started doing these in different places. Okay, India has 80,000 people involved with Christian Endeavor. China. China. It does not have Christian Endeavor yet. So we need to pray in that direction. In England, there are 19 churches that have Christian Endeavor, mostly with children. So I'll give that one to you. Yeah, we rebirthed Christian Endeavor in the U.S. in the year 2012 when there were no churches involved, only events. After one year, we had our first church, and by the fall of this past year, we had 30 churches involved. And we celebrated just before I left for this trip, we had our 40th church get involved with CE. No, not Portugal. Nein, nicht Portugal. So I found out today that CE exists in Brazil. Thank you for doing this. But I said there were two purposes for doing this. That was the first. The second is we're gonna have a moment that we pray and ask God to touch the life of the person that made your shirt. You don't know the person that made your shirt. They might be a Christian, they might not. So we're gonna pray that that person would come to know Christ or go deeper with Christ. We're an interconnected world. And could you imagine someday you'll be in heaven and you're taking your walk through heaven going, wow, this is amazing. And all of a sudden, some guy named Joe from New York walks up to you and says, hey, I'm the guy that made your shirt. <laughs>
if uh, a person is um, in the base the first time. From the first moment on, she feels like being part of something. And so we have this 30 pictures and they're getting more and more. And it's, it, it's so awesome to see how many persons we have reached with our actions. Well, we had a great time here at the church this evening. Today is day of C. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is night five. Thanks so much for watching the vlogs. See you tomorrow. What did you think of this evening, Dave? It was awesome. Tonight was just a night where the Holy Spirit could really be felt in the room. There was an energy and, a, and an excitement to not only hear about leadership principles and hear about Christian endeavor, but there was a real sense with this group that it's time to do something. So I'm just really excited about that. They really embraced the whole hippos to honeybees yeah, thing. Yeah, they really love that. And the example of not just training young people as a soccer team to get ready for the big game and then telling them to sit on the sidelines and watch older people play until they get their turn. But get them on the field now. And they really resonated with that, and I praise the Lord. I think God is really up to something.